Right, so the elves is dead. Unfortunately, I had some play in the BB. Didn't change it because I'm a donkey. And then uh, it like cut through the elves, so not ideal. Hopefully the insurance will sort us out. But in the meantime, we got a new bike and here it is. Right, so basically decided just to crack out the big bucks on the Canyon Air Road. So this is a CFR top of the range frame. So best frames I can get out, Otago DI2, which is really nice. Uh, hunt wheels, which are fine, they're not unreal. Uh, I'd say average and then the handlebars are again we'll we'll get to them later so why did I pick the frame it's light it's aero um, and I just wanted to see if an aero disc brake disc brake bike is good or not um, so we'll go through front to rear basically what the deal is so handlebars yeah I don't like them they're too wide uh, not a fan I'll crack them in as much as I can but that was just one of, the only real compromise was basically handlebars hopefully at one point Canyon will make some knots outrageously wide handlebars but until that point we just got to hack it um, and crack them the shifters in as much as possible uh, obviously my handlebars before in the L's were 36 centimeters but like her hood was 33 we'll try and get these I probably can't do 33 without them being unrideable but we'll get them close uh, wheels they're fine they're hunts like they're, I think they're a grand for the wheels kind of like all right do the job and I understand why people don't like riding deep section rims because they're so unstable compared to my MVs but Anyway, um, it's decent. Sorry, the light's probably going to come off if I don't move around. But anyway, those aren't the reasons I bought the frame. The reason I really bought the frame was just because, like, the frame itself, it's fit. Uh, it looks good. It's really light. So, like, no pedals on, like the classic 7.2. Whack pedals on, bulk cage and some other stuff, 7.4. Whack info crank on. The big boy here, 7.6. But anyway, the info crank is super accurate, but again... It is very, very heavy. So that's fine. 7.6 for an aero bike like this. The wheels are 1,500 grams, which is kind of like fine. But for 55 mil, they're kind of irrelevant. So I'll probably... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them. I might sell them or keep them. But at some point, I will get some deep section rims, probably like 80 or 70 for the UK because the average speed in UK races is high. And then maybe get some lightweight climbing wheels, maybe. But we'll just keep them. I'm not 100% sure what I'll do. Um, Otegra DI2, so much better than SRAM. And like, this is gonna sound all Warren Roster bollocks, but the shift is quicker. Like you don't have to wait. The front mech is so much better. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend Shimano over SRAM. I've only ridden this bike like 100K-ish. Uh, well, I had 100K today with some efforts. Um, and then I rode it yesterday just to, across London, but that was about it. Um, otherwise, when it comes with a saddle, it's fine. It does the job. Cranks changed out Palmier. Um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, chain. Uh, I've just got my wax chain, which I whacked on, which was a 12 sweep from my TT bike. It's a YBN SLA, so quick. Um, I've also got an Altegra chain, which I'll just swap for training. Bottle cages, they will change. These are like some AliExpress Super Cas ones. I'll probably change to some black ones, I reckon, because otherwise um, they kind of clash with the bike a little bit. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the bike. Uh, verdict, is it better than the Elves? Hard to say on one ride. But it definitely feels like quicker. I'm not in as good position for sure. Like you can see, it's a lot longer than my L's, but maybe not as low. I thought it was going to be as low, but I don't necessarily think it is. But and I'm obviously nowhere near as narrow. But it did seem really quick. But I have been hacking around the L's in not top condition on uh, white, on like normal rims, not deep section rims. So kind of hard to tell. But yeah, it does seem quick. Climbs well. It's lightish. Like it just does the job. And to be honest, I kind of realized why all the mammals have been. Put, making me do so many watts it's because they're just hacking around on these things and they are quick like obviously you know a little bit quicker at like high speed but they are pretty light as well so not not too bad either it's like similar weight to the elves which obviously was rim brake and had loads of stuff but like ee brakes and whatever but the the frames they do make these days are pretty good the value for money wise yeah it's a joke like then they're, they're not good value for money objectively like um, in terms of the fact of like seven thousand pounds for this bicycle is not a good use of my money at all. Um, in one regard, in other regard, in compared to an S works, it's good value for money, but that's just because they're ridiculous. Um, but yeah, overall, yeah, like it's good. Um, I'm not that emotional about bikes to be honest. I feel like they're just there to get the job done, and it's good. So that's kind of like it. There's obviously some things that I like and some things I dislike on the bike, but generally happy that I bought it and I'm excited really to race it. Um, and like just to see you know, on a flat, like, racetrack, like, near here, there's one in Castle Coombe, 
just like cracking around 45k an hour. I reckon that's when you'll tell how good it is. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.